Hey everyone, good morning. I am Priyanshi Agarwal and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now we are going to solve today's read code daily challenge, which is find the original type string one. Okay, so let's see what is this question and how we can solve it. So in this question, you have been given that Elise is attempting to type a specific string on her computer. However, she, she tends to be clumsy and may press a key for too long resulting in a character being typed multiple times, okay? Although Elise tried to focus on her typing, she is aware that she may still have done this at most once. Pay attention to this keyword, at most once. And you are given a string word which represents the final output displayed on the Elise screen. Return the total number of possible original strings that Elise might have intended to type. Okay, so in this question, you have been given with a string word and you have been given that Elise is clumsy and uh, she might press a key for too long, resulting in a character being typed multiple times. So basically what you need to, and she can do this mistake at most one time. And you are need to return the total number of possible original strings that Elise might have intended to type. Okay, so let's see. So let's see in this example, you have been given that A, B, B, C, C. Okay. So as you can see in this example, C are occurring four times. So allies might have pressed a key for too long at this C. So it means all the C after this are not intended. So one possible string, intended string could be this, right? And or she might have pressed a key for too long at this C. It means any C after this are not intended. So this might be an intended string or she might have pressed a key for too long at this C. It means this can be an intended string, right? Okay. Or maybe let's say Elise wants to keep all this C's, the, all these C's are intended. Okay. Or let's say Elise might have pressed a key for too long at this B. It means any B after this are not intended. So one possible string could be this, right? Okay, so these can be the only possible string. Okay, now you might ask like why we cannot have this possible string, this possible string, this possible string, right? You might have asked this question, but here this at most once comes into picture, right? Allies may place a key for too long at most one time by writing, during writing this string. So either she have placed a key for too long at B, or she might have placed a key at this C or at this C or at this C or at this C, right? So, this cannot be a possible string because in this case, you are pressing a key for too long at B and at C, both at the, both the positions. But she have pressed a key for too long only at most one position. So, this can be a possible string. So, that's why your answer is 5. Okay, so let's see another example as well. So, in this A, B, C, D. No characters are occurring twice together in consecutive positions, right? So, this can be only the intended string. So, your answer is A, B, C, D. Okay. Now, for this test case, A, 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 A. Okay. Arise might have pressed a key for too long at this index. So, one possible string could be this or at this index. So, one string could be this or at this index or none of the index. Your All the A's are intended. So, your total number of possible strings could be 4. Okay, so what should be our thought process to approach this question like how we can code this or solve this question programmatically. Okay, so let's say we start iterating in this uh, string. Right now, let's say we are at this index i. Okay, now we will try to compare whether this a is occurring more than one time at consecutive positions or not. How will we check? We will check from its left index, right? Okay, but right now there is no left index. Okay, so let's move on. B basically, we will start from the one index, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, now we will try to check with the character at the left index. Oh, these are not equal. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, let me just erase it. Okay, cool. Uh, now our i is at this position. Okay. So now let's again compare it with the left index. Oh, these are equal. So it might be the case that the 
elements the characters to this index were intended and whatever these present after this are not intended okay so let's initialize our result as zero and if we are getting that this b is equal to this v then we will simply update our result because these are not the intended ones okay now let's move forward let's check for other indexes as well okay now we are at this index now we will check whether it is equal to its left index no okay so move forward okay now we will check is it equals to its left index yes it means this is our intended string and all the c after this are not intended okay so we will simply add one now we will move forward again we will check with the left index okay these are equal it means this was our intended string and these all are extra ones so we will again add one here now we will move forward and again we will check is it equal yes it means this is the intended string and this is the unnecessary one okay so what we will do we will simply add one again now you can see our i pointer will go here it means it will go out of bound okay but uh, you don't think like we are missing one case here like when there is no unintended character all the characters are intended so that's why by the end of the iteration we will always add one to our answer to consider the original string initial string as of a final string it means all the characters are intended so see we have got our result as five right so i hope you get it like what we are basically trying to do we are trying to iterate on this uh, a string from the index 1 and we are trying to check the character with its left index if it is equal then we will simply add 1 why because uh, because if it is equal to its previous character it means arise might have pressed a key at that character and all the characters after that are not intended this is was your intended string right so that's why we are keep adding one at every time when we found that a character is equal to its left character and by the end of the iteration we will also add plus one to consider the initial string as the final string okay so let's see its code its code is also quite simple as i have told you like we will initialize our result with zero we will start iterating in the string and whenever we find that a character is equal to its left character we will simply increment our result and by the end of the iteration we will return this right plus 1 to consider the original string as a final string so the time complexity of this approach will be big of n as we are just doing this one iteration and as we have not used any extra space so its space complexity will be big of 1 So that's it for this question. I hope you get it. And if you still have any doubts, you can post in the comment section. I will surely try to answer them. Till then, bye, guys. See you in the next video.